Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Hey, let's forget about all that nonsense, man. Let's talk about... I just want to talk about the video, mate. Let's just talk about... Oh, oh, excuse me. That, that's how excited you yeah, are. That's how excited... The, the video. Come on, now. Um, I know you spent a lot of time with Johnny Fisher and... and, and uh, <laughs> and all that. And I, listen, when it their sort of Instagram pool has been hilarious, and that video of you, Adam Morley, and the taxi, and all that sort of stuff, mate, hilarious stuff. Um, yeah, just talk to me about that whole. Just talk about the whole thing, mate. How excited are you? It, it was always going to be like. Listen, I've not officially managed Johnny for two years, but like I've always been on the other end of a phone to Johnny. Like I speak to Johnny every day, even when I wasn't managing. Every day, almost. Uh, I'm not exaggerating on that. Every day I'll speak to Johnny. Um, so it's just kind of like, it all, it's organically happened. Like, I think it was always going to happen, me getting involved. I, I turned Johnny professional, got him his first contract with Matchroom, did all of that. And um, yeah, look, I'm not back with S-Jam and S-Jam's not back with me. It's just me and Adam are jointly managing Johnny Fisher. And that's, that's, that's the, and, I'm, and I'm really looking forward to, getting my teeth back into it because Johnny biggest ticket seller in the country. And I think he's proven, especially over his last couple of fights that he's not just a ticket seller. He can really, really fight. So really looking forward to the journey that, um, the, the joining back onto the journey with Johnny Fisher and see where we're going to end up because nobody knows Johnny's ceiling, British title, European title, world title, who knows, who knows where we're going to get to, but it's going to be exciting because Nobody can pull a crowd like Johnny Fisher at the moment in this country. Definitely. And it looks like maybe, I don't know what's happening at the end of the year. It's probably got two fights left for the end of the year we're, we're excited about. Um, and I, I said to you what, maybe the last time I spoke to you, or the last couple of times I spoke to you, I said, Sam, you need to get a heavyweight. And uh, I tell you what, you've not you've got a good one in Johnny Fisher there because... Yeah, I was I was smart. I remember you saying that to me and I was laughing because I was thinking, yeah, yeah, wait, give me a couple of weeks. Listen, well, you, you mentioned nobody knows his ceiling, Sam, but... Obviously, you're gonna you're a manager, right? So you in your head, you're mapping out fights. You're mapping out this year. You're mapping maybe the start of next year where he goes. I know there's talk of Australia fighting out Australia because he's got a good following out there. I know he was meant to be on the pro grade, in the Sheffield card and and, and, and uh, Carroll card as well. So you he's going to be busy, right? So you've got a, a map of where he's going to go in his career in the next maybe year, right? You mentioned that nobody knows his ceiling. Surely. You've got an idea, do you? How far this man can go? Yeah, listen, we. I'm quietly confident, Andrew. But it's like when Johnny gets interviewed, and I said this on the other interview as well, people will say, oh, you're going to fight Derek Chisora, you're going to fight Dillian White, you're going to fight... Now, Johnny will respond, and then the clickbait will be, Johnny wants to fight or he's going to fight Derek Chisora. Derek Chisora, British boxing legend. If that fight presented itself for Johnny, Johnny would jump at the chance. And... It's an O2 sellout and Dillian White. But Johnny is on his own path and these fights will happen when they happen. Johnny's in a fortunate position where he's not the B side of these of these fights. I'm not saying he would be in the he would be the A side against Chisora or Dillian White, whatever, but any other of these other heavyweights below that tier, Johnny's the big A side in all of that. He he's the big A side because he, he draws the crowd, he pulls in the the, the money. Mm. So we're, we're we're in an exciting position with with Johnny Fisher and look, one fight at a time. He's fighting Rudenko and then we'll look at everything else after that. But genuinely, one fight at a time. I was going to ask though. You said one fight at a time there, but and I was going to ask like how realistic is sort of like a Chisora fight? Because Chisora, who knows, Andrew? Who who knows? You never know the mad world we live in at the moment. Um, Derek Chisora likes money, doesn't he? So who knows? Who knows? But if it does happen, then it'll be unbelievable and it'd be an honor for Johnny to share a ring with someone a legend like Derek, but Derek's going to do what Derek wants to do. Derek Scott says he's got two fights left. He's never ducked or dodged anyone, Derek Shaw, in his whole life, so I don't think he would He would, He would. would look at that. as that. It's just Derek Derek has the right to pick and choose who he wants to fight now to see out his 50 fights, and good luck to Derek. I, I've got a lot of time for Derek Shaw. I respect him so much for what he is and how he is and how he fights, and, and that's why the British boxing fans absolutely adore him, and rightfully so. Listen, and you got listen. You talk about the old two, Johnny Fisher, Chisora. I mean, I think you need something back. Could, could you do Wembley? Could you? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I don't know, but definitely the O2 Arena would be full to the brim. Definitely, mate. Um, I just want one final one on this. Um, yeah, that video on Instagram, mate. 
you need to work on your run. That's the first time I've seen you run. Um, you need some. Work. It was more for effect that one, Andrew. Oh, was it? it was more okay. for effect. Wait, to be fair, I'm getting better at running. To be fair, I'm doing my doing my regular five k's now on the treadmill. I'm still not the best road runner, but yeah, it was more for it. It was more for effect. I took one for the team in that video. It was all at my. The jokes were all at my expense. So I'm a team player, Andrew. What can I say? Definitely, man. You're always up for a laugh, which is good to see. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.